is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. The first mention of what they say takes us to Judges chapter 7 verse 11. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it into thine hand. But if thou fear to go down, go thou with Pharaoh thy servant down to the host, and thou shalt hear what they say, and afterward shall thine hands be strengthened to go down unto the host. Then went he down with Pharaoh his servant unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host. So he says, Thou shalt hear what they say. Now that phrase, thou shalt hear, is mentioned exactly six times in the word of God. Look at Deuteronomy 13 verse 12. If thou shalt hear, say in one of thy cities, which the Lord thy God hath given thee to dwell there, saying, Certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you, and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which ye have not known. Then shalt thou inquire, and make search, and ask diligently. And behold, if it be truth, and the thing certain, that such abomination is wrought among you, thou shalt surely smite the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, and all that is therein, and the cattle thereof with the edge of the sword. So we know that that sword is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, the King James Bible, the truth. So look there at verse 13. Certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you, and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which ye have not known. Now Jesus says in John 10 verse 5 that his sheep know not the voice of strangers. So this is referring to the false Bibles and the false teachers. Now let's look at that phrase, are gone out. 1 John 4 verse 1 says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Look at Matthew 25 verse 8, And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. So think of, oh foolish Galatians, right? They were trying to be made perfect by the flesh, by the works of the law. This is why there is ten virgins, the ten commandments, the law. Five wise, five foolish. And they don't have oil in their lamps. Now the lamp represents the word of God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. But there is no oil in their lamps. The oil represents the spirit of God, the wisdom of God. But these false Bibles, they don't have the Spirit of God in them. They are lying spirits. This is why he tells us to try the spirits. Jesus said, my words, they are spirit and they are life. And the Lord says, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So certain men are gone out. Look at Acts 15, 24. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your soul, saying, Ye must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. So beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concision. Beware of these people who want to tell you that you have to keep the law, that you have to have some sort of work, some sort of, uh, of your own righteousness to attain eternal life. And always remember that salvation is of the Lord and is the free gift. All right, the second mention of what they say takes us to Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 15. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. It is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation, a nation whose language thou knowest not, neither understandest what they say so the lord says it is a mighty nation now mighty nation is only found in one other place in the word of god 
And that takes us to Genesis 18, verse 18. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Now the Apostle Paul actually quotes Genesis 18, verse 18, in Galatians 3, verse 7 through 8. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham? And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, Preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says that we are a holy nation. So I believe that this mighty nation are all of the children of Abraham, those that are of faith, those that are in Jesus Christ, the spiritual seed, those who are preaching the glorious gospel of Christ. That is why all the nations are blessed. It's the gospel that the blessing is in, in Jesus Christ. And we are warning those who are trusting in themselves, in their works, and they are resting in the law rather than Christ. And we're preaching the gospel to them, lifting up the standard, and they're not understanding what we're saying. Acts 28, 26 through 27, saying, Go unto this people and say, Hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. For the heart of this people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Romans 1.31 says that they are without understanding. So their understanding is darkened. Now the third and final mention of what they say takes us to 1 Timothy 1 verse 7. Let's start in verse 5. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith unfeigned, from which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. Second Peter 2.19 While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. Now think of all these false teachers, a lot of times being street preachers, who want to promise people liberty. Oh, God can set you free from sin. You know, he can give you liberty. And they name the name of Christ, but the word of God says that they themselves are the servant of corruption because they serve the flesh. They have confidence in the flesh, which is corruptible. They've yet to put on incorruption. And they want to bring you back into bondage, back into Egypt. 